I'm Debbie Yates, I'm a teacher at Ashdale Secondary College and also the STEM coordinator uh, for our primary schools. The issue for this year was based around the concept of plastic pollution, specifically in our oceans and the effect that it's having on a worldwide basis, um, and really with a focus on what problem solving and what solutions the girls could come up with and understanding some of the science behind it as well. I came last year and I really enjoyed it and I love inspiring the kids like you know what they could be doing in the future and just to have, getting them to uh, be super open-minded and aim really high. It's, it's really exciting to, to see that and to see the work that you do here um, was really good. It gets them really thinking about the big problems in the world and the big solutions and how they can contribute to, to solve these issues. Today I really was surprised when they played the video about the plastic, the, the pollutions and the look on the kids faces. It really touches them and you can see that they they really feel passionate about doing things for the environment and that's what that, yeah that was a big highlight for me I think so yeah uh, so they had three main experiments. One was around density, so just looking at uh, what plastics floated and what didn't and, and why that was. Um, they made their own bioplastic, which is a plastic alternative that actually is biodegradable and will break down after a period of time, not leaving any plastics in the ocean. And we did separation techniques, which really helped the girls to understand how difficult it was to remove plastic from water. Uh, the main thing is, yeah, spreading the message about recycling and I guess um, be more cautious about the plastics I use and yeah, that I would definitely um, it, it's, it's good to have a reminder you know these things are going on but yeah when you actually when you see the look on the kids faces and it just inspires you to to be a bit more um, cautious about what you do and how you behave in the um, to, to you know solve these problems yeah <laughs> ten years ago when I was um, finishing up uni I know that there was only six females um, to begin with when I started my course and uh, that was out of 60 altogether. So, um, you know, it, it's good to see now that there is so many more female engineers out there and um, uh, yeah, I think it's important to that girls realise that it's all the, um, it, anyone can do these kind of jobs, yeah, and it's just good to see them excited about it, yeah, and that this many girls are interested. So at the moment they're designing some solutions and they're using um, this wonderful maker space with a whole heap of different products in there and they're coming up with ideas on how they think they could fix this problem and what they could do to influence the world around them. We make um, cardboard and we can say but I really like STEM and I loved coming here last year. I really liked it last year. I wanted to see what we were doing this year. Learn about science and what we can do to help people. We did the um, STEM Girls Day Camp and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really fun. Um, we've made biodegradable plastic. We have researched the densities between different objects and how they float. We had to make this mixture of water and oil and the oil stayed at the top and see what floated and sunk. And we've talked about plastics and how there's giant clubs of plastic in the ocean. We've been making a, we have dirty water and we have to try and pollute, like, um, filter it to make it clean water. I enjoyed the mapping where we had to find out how much of Australia was the Great Pacific rubbish. And I'm gonna try and stop uh, using plastic as much as I do. Definitely going to um, put it all in the bin. Try not to use a lot of plastic and reuse it if you can. Maybe not buy so many things that you're only going to use once. I think STEM is important because all our future is going to be based on STEM and most jobs will and I just think it's going to be important for our future. <laughs>